Hey guys, Bob Breedlove here with Breedlove Photo Tech. I hope you enjoy the channel. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit me up with a like. Check out the links. I'll see you guys around. Hey guys, I want to show you a really quick video on using your ball head like a gimbal. Um, this is a really neat uh, tip I learned from Morton Hilmer and uh, his, his video is really good, but he has really good tripods and so I want to show you that even with a cheaper tripod that you can still do this. Now this is the KNF Concept tripod and it is model KFTM 2534T and so it's the KNF Concept tripod. I'll go ahead and let me zoom out here and pop my camera lens off of here. So here's the tripod. Get the ball head. This is the ball head. Pretty normal ball head. Uh, the reason I bought this particular tripod is because of this feature right here where the shaft extends and you can take pictures from above. So if you're doing product photos or something like that, it's a really neat fe feature at a really, um, uh, really a pretty good price. This tripod I think was just under 150 maybe or somewhere around there. Less than 150 for sure. Or right around there. I'll put a link in there. I found it a little bit cheaper on eBay than on Amazon. So that's why I bought this particular tripod and then I stumbled across uh, Morton's video. The lens and camera setup I have here is the Nikon 200 to 500 5.6 with my D7200 and I've got a battery pack on here with a battery just to give it a little bit more weight and help it balance a little bit. So I've got the lens zoomed out all the way and it's got a quick plate and the nice thing even on this KF concepts tripod it's got a nice little uh, feature here where these little pins typically won't let it fall out so I put this over here and get this in here and I'm not gonna let go obviously but um, my quick plate attachments not very tight but if I did let go this would stay right where it is even if it's not very tight but I'm gonna make sure it's nice and tight there you go use my other hand make sure it's nice and tight in there there you go. So I've got the fluid pan part of the ball head uh, loose and free, and then the actual uh, ball head is actually uh, loose and free as well. And that will let you move all around, kind of like a gimbal. Uh, not exactly, but the nice thing is, is I can move uh, this, hold on to the lens, release this bolt right here, and get a little bit more height out of it like this. And as you can see, uh, it moves around pretty nicely. I'm going to drop that down just a little bit more. And you can see it moves pretty nicely. It's pretty easy to track birds. Um, I've had this lens for about 13 days now. And um, it's worked out really well. I'll throw some test shots up. So, um, yeah. Uh, now, if you are zoomed in all the way to 500, it does, sometimes, this is pretty loose, it does tend to sag a little bit to the front. You get more of the weight of the lens out in front here. What you can do is just tighten up this ball head just a little bit, just till it stops. So you're almost balancing this ball head out. You can see we still got, I'm not applying a lot of pressure. It's a little bit more pressure up than down. So I, what I typically do is I put this hand here and then I use this hand to move so I'm not straining um, this mount just in case and I, I really don't think it would strain the mount but um, I would rather not strain my mount it's my it's my camera so it's my only camera so I put my hand here right here and I can move uh, the lens and actually if I'm holding on to the camera and even if it's extended all the way I can keep it still I, I can keep it pretty still right here and get pretty good movement on there and then if I have um, something come up there's actually a deer in the field across the street so we'll uh, take a quick little test shot here and I'll show you this picture we're done it's actually where I'm heading is to go find some deer it's about dusk here in Michigan find that guy see the lens in action see what we got oh, just hunkered down Put my hand right here, I can kind of stabilize. And that deer is in. Check my, look at there. 
Okay, that deer completely disappeared. But you can kind of see the ears a little bit. I'll zoom right in on that and show you. I'm pretty sure it was a pretty juvenile deer. There's a couple way across the field over there. Yep, more than a couple. All right, so I'll uh, show you some test shots there, and I'll jump in the car and drive around the block and see if I can get a little better close-up of those guys. So, All right, we'll see you around. Have fun.